up YouTube, it's Custom K here with KKRC, just wanted to do a quick video for you guys on the um, Axial AE5 ESC, just a quick little unboxing video, um, of course it's not in a box, but um, just wanted to talk about the product here and just go over my initial thoughts of uh, how the actual product looks and feels right out of the box. Um, and my opinions and thoughts on it uh, before I install it into the vehicle, which I will do a um, you know an after run review, so to speak, of how this ESC performed and what I thought about it. Um, it's going to be going in my Trailfinder 2, uh, dubbed Money Pit. Burned out the Sidewinder SV3 ESC in it. Uh, seems to be a common issue. Everyone I talk to have burned out at least one of those ESCs at one time or another. So, just um, do a quick review on this ESC. Uh, one common misconception that a lot of people are saying out there is uh, they think that it's a rebranded um, Hobby Wing ESC, whether it be a quick run or a um, easy run. I will go ahead and say, in my personal opinion, I do not think that it is rebranded. I think that maybe it could be based off of those ESCs, but I, uh, it is definitely not that ESC with an axial etched logo on it and a different sticker. For one, because the jumper system on both of the Hobby Wing ESCs, to my knowledge, do not have a drag brake. I know for a fact that the Quick Run 1060 WP is not the same as this ESC. The jumper system here, which is a new system that Axial has implemented, um, is a drag brake and a battery. You can either run 50% uh, or 100% drag brake or nickel metal and lipo for the battery settings. And um, on the uh, Hobby Wing, uh, it does not even have a drag brake. So that leads me to believe that it is not a rebranded Hobby Wing. Um, if it is, it's got a different firmware on it, and, you know, at the least, uh, which would make it not the same. So, that's just my personal opinion, but I do not think that it is a, uh, a hobby wing with an axial sticker on it. So, moving on to that, um, from that, one thing I will go ahead and say is um, one thing that I'm a little disappointed in, but... It's not too big of a deal is Axial has gone away from the Castle um, Creations ESCs. This is not capable with a, a Castle Link. That's what this new jumper system is, uh, which I know a lot of people out there might like to um, tweak their settings a little bit more, drop their drag brake in a little lower increments or whatever it may be. But generally, this ESC is going to be used in a ready-to-run, and it's going to come out of ready-to-run vehicles. So, I think it's safe to say that all of you Axial guys, myself included, were a little bit spoiled with the AE2, being how it was Castle Link compatible, and it did have so many features, so to speak. Um, because this is something more like what you would see in a ready-to-run vehicle. Minimal minimal um, options but it does have the things that you need to get you started it is waterproof which is something that the AE2 was not um, officially so that's a, a big plus and you know I think it'll um, I think it'll still turn out to be a pretty uh, good and reliable ESC like I said obviously I have not run it in a vehicle yet so this is just strictly going off what I see uh, here now. It does still have the Tamiya plugs on it, so that'll definitely be something that I'm going to have to change for my personal preference. Um, Weight-wise, it does have a pretty good weight to it. I'm guessing it's because of this big giant heat sink on the top here. Uh, but it does not feel like cheap quality. I mean, it, it feels like a good quality ESC. Uh, when I look down here, which you're not going to be able to see it on camera, but when I look down here, under the heat sink, I can see where it has that clear conformal coating or corrosion X coating like what you would see on a Sidewinder or something like that uh, used to waterproof the ESC. And 
um, on the uh, side of the wires here where they come out you can also see that little clear little clear shiny stuff that's also the coating um, of the waterproofing and as well as the switch here which also is a waterproof design it's a completely sealed box uh, it's got a little black coating there or it's it's actually clear but it looks black because the box is black but it's got some coating there to seal it in and the uh, little cover over the switch has a nice smooth movement it cuts on real easy um, overall so far I'm, I'm really happy the axial logo that's on here is not a sticker it's etched on there um, so yeah I, I don't think it is a rebranded Hobbywings uh, ESC I really don't um, it's it's just it's different in a lot of aspects you know if you look down in the actual chipset it's not the same um, like I said the drag brake and the jumper system is not the same it does run a 3S LiPo which is a new feature the AE2 could only run a 2S uh, without modifications um, it has a 5 volt 2 amp BEC standard pretty much uh, so like I said, this is just um, something that you would see come out of a ready-to-run vehicle. I've decided to throw it in my trail finder because uh, it, it's a it's a trail truck. I don't go rock crawling with it. I don't push crazy power through it. So I think this will be perfect for what I'm going to be using. And usually I run my drag brake around 50% anyways. So I think this is going to be fine for me. Um, this jumper system is something new that we have only seen before on the Hobby Wing systems. So I think that's why everyone was real quick to um, to, to say that this is a rebranded Hobby Wing, but I really don't think so. So here's the little jumper. It's literally all it is. It's just a jumper. You've got two plugs down in there. And if you look here, it shows you how to place a jumper for each come on there we go shows you how to place the jumper for uh, the drag brake settings and the nickel metal or lipo battery settings uh, so you know it can be easily and quickly adjusted out on the field if say you know your your lipo dies and all you have is a nickel metal to back up as a backup you can just swap it over um, or say you're, you know, you you want to increase your drag brake, you know, you can just swap that jumper over. I think for what I'm going to be using it for, it's going to work real nice. Uh, like I said, it, it by no means does seem like a, a cheap quality. Um, it looks like they did a really good job with the waterproofing. Uh, like I mentioned, you can see all around all the edges and on the switch and down in the chip itself under the heat sink, you can see all of the, um, the waterproofing that has been done. So I just wanted to go over this ESC with you guys real quick and um, state my opinion on what I think about the uh, whole rebranded thing. Um, I've heard a lot of good, or well I've heard more bad than good about this ESC to be honest, but everyone that has uh, stated their opinion has yet to own one and use one themselves. So um, this is a new ESC and unless you have a new SCX-10 deadbolt or... Uh, G6, I believe, SCX-10, then, you know, there's not many people out there running these just yet because they're not available. I believe they're going to be available to buy uh, separately this month, the month of August. Um, I could be wrong, but that was when the release date was going to be. So, I got this off of a guy who just pulled it out of a uh, RTR because he was upgrading it. Got it for cheap, and I just wanted something that was waterproof, um, factory, uh, you know, like I said, fried my Sidewinder uh, three days after using it, so I was very unhappy with that. I am going to miss the Castle Link compatibility, that is kind of a bummer, but for basic use and ready to run rigs, I think this is going to be a good combination, and I think Axial um, has done a good thing going to the waterproof setup stock out of the box. So that's my personal opinion on the new Axial AE5 ESC. Tomorrow I'll be installing this into my trail finder, which I will do a install video or I guess a um, 
not so much an install video, but an after run uh, review. I will be doing some modifications like swapping out this plug, um, adding in my winch power wires and things like that. And uh, I'll just um, go over it and let you know how, uh, how it performed for me. Uh, my trail finder is a heavy rig, so uh, I think it'll be a good candidate to uh, really test this thing out and see how it does. So that's all on the um, Axial AE5 ESC. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you like what you saw. Um, and with any luck, I'll see you out on the trails. Thank mm -hmm. you.